hey guys welcome to another video and uh, what will happen if you submit a jcl having multiple job cards so let's do a practical on this like it is a mainframe interview question and for more you can subscribe this channel and if you find it useful please hit a like so you'll get started so this is our job name ibm user let's say a we will say job and notify equal to my sys uid and here i'll say ibm user b again job card and notify equal to ampersand sys uid so these are the two job cards let's say if i do hi jcl and i save it so if i try to submit this job what will happen i'll try to submit this see two job got submitted and first one is having jcl error second one is also having jcl error now we will analyze why it is failing so we found out that if we submit the jcl with two job statements it will fail right so we will see why it is failing it says job has no steps okay second one it says job has no steps now we will say if we try to copy one of our previous sort card just to save the time okay this is for mainframe interview and uh, for program reverse we have yesterday created this program and this is this is our jcl so we will try to take these uh, steps from here to here all right here we go i'll close this we don't need this now if i paste this and if i submit this see still i have two job statements first one and second one so now see it it, it failed because there was no further steps for a job so we have a job we have steps we have another job so i'll try to submit this two job got submitted one is failed see IBM user B second one is failed and first one is completed so now we will see max is zero since it has the value it has the steps we got the reversed string if you have not watched the video like how we uh, like made the logic how to reverse the string i'll give the link into the description you can check that out this is the second job which got submitted and it says job has no steps so what we will do we will repeat those uh, steps after this or let's say we will copy after this and if we try to submit this two job got submitted one is zero zero returned with max cc zero zero is completed second one is also max cc zero zero it is completed so if we see now we have this latest instance of this with max cc zero and this for ibm user b job max cc zero so we 
came to know that if we submit a job if we submit a jcl with two job statements it may fail in case it doesn't have any further steps it may fail if if we submit a job card alone with no further steps it will fail if we submit two job cards in single jcl with no further steps it will fail okay if we submit two job cards two job statements with further steps those steps will be executed fine as a normal job just to add into that if we can use a null statement that means this double slash see two jobs are completed because this this job is getting complete here and it found another job and it is completed so now there are two three things i'll write down here just to note down the points first one jcl one jcl having multiple multiple job cards may run in case they have further steps second one job will end once it finds another job inside or job statement to be very precise inside single jcl third one a null so it you you already know this so if there are multiple steps in a job in a job if it is a step 1 if we have step 2 let's say if i repeat this so in step 2 also we are executing this and if we put this null here so only step 1 will execute in ibm user a and ibm user b job will run this step 2 will not execute so to see that i will try to submit this job again two job submitted first one is completed second one is completed and to see the output we will go here the latest output of ibm user a is this one which has step 1 only so step 2 is not executed since we have put this null statement here so it indicates that the job ibm user a will be terminated or completed here it this step will not be in the consideration under job a and once it finds another job statement the execution begins from here so i hope this video helps you to understand the concept of this job execution with multiple job statements and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next